Hello, welcome back to the Linux Tube. As always, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe, you know, do the share thing, do all of that. And then if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and join the channel or, you know, go buy us a coffee if you can. It helps the channel out and makes it where this is a little bit more, more plausible to continue to do, that kind of thing. But uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit with Caden Live. Caden Live is a piece of software on Linux which allows you to do video editing, but but to note, it is not always the most stable. There is bugs sometimes. So I was actually just experiencing my try my first attempt at this. But let's try once again. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is open up Caden Live. I'm gonna drag myself to the bottom left so that you guys can see what we're doing. And uh let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and There we go, we're opening up Caden Live. Let's see how long it takes for this to open. On my machine, I'm on a laptop right now because my other machine doesn't come for a little bit. And you see here, we have Caden Live again. All we gotta do is we go here, we hit add clip or folder so that we can go ahead and go get the content we did. This is my actual video. Then we'll right click once again. It's gonna go ahead and import. We're gonna go ahead and import the outro which the outro or intro you can make in here just the same way as you do a normal video. It's actually not too bad. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go ahead and do our thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this once again. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to desktop. And then I'm going to go down to my thumbnail, which I made in GIMP. If you need help making thumbnails in GIMP, go ahead and comment down below and I'll make a video about that. It's really not too hard. It takes the whole 10 minutes to make. I mean, they're not always perfect, but they're pretty great, and I enjoy making them. So we're going to go ahead and continue here. We need to let this finish importing, because if we try to do this too early, it's not going to actually pull the entire video. So what we'll do is we're going to go actually find a piece of software or a piece of audio for this right here. So if you know anything about audio stuff, you have to use something that does not break any licenses. So with YouTube, something cool is they actually have a YouTube creator library, which allows you to use things that may have copyright, but they have partnership with those people and you're allowed to use it in their content, in your content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and right click because I already downloaded one, go to my downloads folder, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the piece of audio that I grabbed. This right here, which is from the creator studio library so what we'll go ahead and do is go ahead and grab down our thumbnail we're going to go ahead and grab down the audio that i want to put with that thumbnail you'll hit control control x let's see control oh no you'll just hit x you'll go ahead and go over to where you want to cut you select it hit s for select you right click either extract it or delete it i delete it and i drag it over what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit X again, cut at the end of this sequence, hit S for select. I'm going to delete the rest of this clip. And as you'll see here, you probably will not be able to hear it because I'm not, you're not uh, incorporating the audio into this, but it'll go ahead and do what it needs to do from here. And then normally this is really loud. So what I will do is I will actually go ahead and select the audio clip after hitting S and so I can go back into it. I would insert an effect and then volume. You go over here and you'll go ahead and pull it down a little bit. I normally go about to negative 16 because this is going to make it quieter so it doesn't blare your ears out if you have headphones on. To make this look a little bit more eloquent, what I will do is I will always grab this top circle and I'll do a fade in as you can see here. And then I will do a fade out at the end of this. Because the reason why I do this, this is my own way of editing, is because it tells the person what this is going to be about. This is actually a video from my other channel. So if you haven't subscribed there already, please do. It's an actual absolutely fun thing to do. And we want to continue to do it. And it's always a lot of fun. I mean, I mean it's a lot of fun to do. So we're going to go ahead and now drag in our video content. We'll go ahead and just put it up against it. We'll do a fade in once again, where it's a little circle. This can be as long or as short as you want it to be. I do a pretty medium amount because I don't want it to feel overly drastic. I've already gone through this and taken out most of the ums and likes, 
But what you'll do is if you want to take something out, you'll just hit the X again like we did earlier to cut something, and then you select it on the top and the bottom for that segment. So let's say I wanted to take out this chunk right here. I would hit S. It's already grouped together. If you want to ungroup them so you only take out the top or the bottom, you right click and hit this. But let's say I wanted to do that, I can hit delete here and it'll delete the thing, the selected scene and you'll just drag it over. But I'm not gonna do that because I do want it to be intact. So what you'll do next is you'll go ahead and go through this segment doing just cutting out whatever it may be that you don't want in there or there's so many ums and likes and you just need to get rid of them or whatever it may be. And you'll go ahead and go to the end of the sequence. And then, okay, okay, this is a little bit of a longer video, so we gotta just be patient while it's grabbing the timeline, and we're gonna go ahead and get to the end. Okay, there we go, I passed it. Now I'm gonna go back to the end. Let's see, there it is. We're gonna go over here, and then we'll go ahead and drag in our outro. So, let's see. You'll see here in my outro video that I have here, does not have audio attached. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the ungroup like I was talking about. I'm going to do ungroup clips. I'm going to select the bottom and I'm going to hit delete selected item. Next I'll grab my song which I'm going to go back in. I'm going to do what I did earlier. Hit X. Cut this front portion right here. Hit S. Delete or extract which I'm doing extract this time. I'm going to do X here. I'm going to cut off the end. Do S from the end hit delete and then I'm going to go back and do the fade. Something else that's really cool about fade is you can actually do it to audio as well. So what I do is I always do that at the very end and it makes it where it fades out so it sounds nice. We're going to go ahead and do a fade in here, fade out here from the video. On the video I usually do the audio a little bit longer and the video on the very end because right your it's just a sequence like sequential type of thing. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to go to the video or the front of the video content. We have to go back. I actually recommend if you aren't already, use a trackball mouse for doing this. It's a little bit easier than using our normal mouse. Um, that's actually the reason why I bought a trackball mouse. Trackballs are great. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it is worth it in this scenario. So I'm going to keep going to the front of the video. And then you'll see as we go, I'm going to hit the space bar. And you will see here on this it's going to pop up with the beginning thumbnail we're going to go there and let's go ahead and... oh hey jonathan how you doing i actually grabbed the wrong one so let's say i see and find a mistake like that all i got to do is hit Control z i go to the portion where i want to cut it out i'm going to go to hit s i'm going to hit extract same thing here and same thing here and then what I do is I just do a fade in instead of fade out. So what you'll do is if you want to get rid of fade out, you right click, you will hit delete effects, and you go ahead and then do the fade in once again. So it's actually not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the audio as well here so it doesn't seem so loud and sudden. And then what I'll do is I'll go to the end, back to the end, because it's probably going to make me do it again because I selected the segment. Let's see. Oh, we went past it. We'll go back. Very easy to do with a trackball mouse. All right, there, there we go. I'm gonna go back, and we gotta just reapply our fade out. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and now render the video. Normally, before you do this, just go ahead and go run through it once. Make sure the audio is fine and everything else. Make sure the video looks good. But I've already gone through this, so I'm not gonna bother with it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit project. I'm going to go hit render. And then this is where you want to look and actually pay attention to what you're doing. So for me, the things I use are one of two different settings. And the reason why is because I want audio to be as good as I can. It doesn't always work out that way, but that's just because of physical issues, not because of software. So we're going to go ahead and hit the lossless. If you want the best audio in the, is probably one of these. These are really good. And then, not, but for me, because I want things to speed up and just get done quicker, I always go here because I have an AMD card in this. If you have Intel and you want to do it with your CPU, your iGPU, you're going to use this. If you want to have an NVIDIA card, use one of these. 
I recommend either doing H.264 or H.265 for the for the main reason being that, frankly, uh, you, you, we're going to be uploading it to YouTube, right? They do have AV1 support, but a lot of modern or older GPUs don't have access to AV1. And it's likely if you have a GPU with AVM1, you probably know why you bought that GPU. And then all you gotta do, there's another button here. You probably can't see it right now because I'm recording the window, but it'll say render to file. You can go ahead and hit that or you can hit something called more options. And then I always do the full color range and then I always rescale it to 1920 by 1080 for me. The reason, the reason why I do that is because I want it to actually render out to be 1920 by 1080 whenever I upload it. All right, so then I'll go ahead and hit custom quality. Always max that out. I do threads. I do the max amount that I have. And then it's up to you whether you use parallel processing, but I'm okay with it. I've never had a problem with it. And I know it says there's hardware accelerated and it's experimental. I've never actually had any issues with it. So I, I don't know why they put it that way. But then you just hit the render to file. You wait. And then you go to your videos folder and that's where your video will be waiting for you. Before you post your video though, go ahead and go in and watch it and then upload it if it worked out. If it didn't, go back in and do your edits, do whatever you need to do, and then go to YouTube. But the thing is, Caden Live is actually a really good tool. The only thing I don't always love is the fact it does crash sometimes. That's pretty known with a lot of video editing applications though, to be fair, so we can't hold that against them. And it's also a community-based project. So the other thing is I recommend you actually name your video to something else other than untitled. That's the default name because you're probably going to eventually have multiple and it's going to get confusing and you're going to have to watch them to figure out what it is. But that's really Caden Live and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go buy us a coffee over on Buy Me A Coffee. Go ahead and, you know, go follow us on the other channel or over on Rumble as Rumble is a great, 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 great platform. And then if you haven't already as well, take a look at us on Odyssey. We are over there. We do mainly use it as like a backup. But if you don't want to use YouTube and you don't like Rumble, that is another way to find us. And then last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and plug our Discord. Go ahead and go down below and you will see that we are on Discord. All right. I hope to see you guys next time and we'll see you then. Bye, guys.